Hello, my name is Liesel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom ring binder labels right here in Canva. So if this is interesting to you, come with me. Let's start by measuring our labels. I'm going to make a label that is 6 cm wide and 19 cm high. Now it's time to go to Canva. So let's go to create a design. I'm going to choose A4. If you're in the US, you can choose letter. And I'm going to use uh, the landscape format. So document A4 landscape. Now I'm going to elements. And I'm going to choose a shape. Let's choose the square. And now I'm going to make the square the size that we've measured the labels to be. Okay, so I want this to be 6 centimeters wide and 19 centimeters high. Perfect, so 6 centimeters wide and 19 centimeters high. That's the first step move it here to the side. Now I'm going to make my label see-through and I'm also going to put a border so that we know where to cut it out. So I'm going to click here on border style. I will just make it a thin weight so let's go for one and I will make my border color a light gray. Click out of it. Let's quickly design our label. So we will start by going to Elements. Then I'm going to search for a frame. Here are frames. I'm going to choose a round frame. I will make it a little bit smaller so that it actually fit onto our label and center it. Okay, and then the next thing that our label should have is some wording, some text. So let's go to text. Now you can easily just um, tap over a heading and make it smaller. So just to put a little bit of wording on there. Okay, but what I'm going to do today is if you scroll down, you will see that they've got some font combinations under the text, which is quite fun to use. So. Let's quickly have a look at what they have. And if you look at this one, this is the one that I'm going to use. Let's make it a little, little bit smaller. And I'm also going to center that. Okay, perfect. So next step is to select all of your first label, group it. Now let's Click on duplicate, drag the second label exactly next to the first label and release. Now click duplicate again and duplicate again. Okay. And if you like, you can now select all four labels and just make sure that it's centered. Now let's customize our labels. So for this first example, I want to make a sample for home use. Okay. And so what I've done is I've uploaded a family photograph that I actually found on Unsplash, which is awesome for some free images, but this is just an example. So let me show you, I will click it over. And now I want to create a file label for each one of the people in the picture. So let's first do the first little boy. So I'm going to crop the photo and then pull it into the first frame. Okay, and let's do it again. So we will do it now for the second little boy. We will continue. Now we add mom. And drag her into the frame. And let's do that. him into the frame okay so now we can edit our text 
So we will click on the first label on the text and say the first little boy's name is John. We will put that in. Ethan. Mom. And Dad. At the bottom we will put in the year. Okay, and then here we the word sales. Let's replace it with, for example, the word personal or home or finance or whatever you need to do. So let's go personal. It's a little bit too big, so let's make the font smaller. I will do it on 21. Okay, so our labels for our home use is done now. What you can do is just add a name for your labels. So say, say home labels. Okay, we can save it. And when you save it, maybe just um, add a file name and save. Then you can go to share, you can go to download, and then you can either download it as a JPEG or a PDF or print, and download it to your computer and print. Okay, so you want to make more labels, you can just go look at this page and then click here on duplicate page. And then you've got a second load. So then you can just repeat the same process. Or if you want to use these labels now for something else, say you've got a business, um, you can upload your logo. So let's just go there. Okay, so... I'll just add my logo here and I will ungroup, delete my frame, place my logo and then for example put in here orders. Okay, delete those ones, group again, duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate. So now my labels to use it for my business is all ready to go. After you've downloaded your labels, you can print them, cut them out, and insert them. I hope you found this useful. I hope you learned something new today. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below and see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.